Hey guys, if you're having a hard time running Overwatch because of low FPS, then this guide will help you boost your Overwatch FPS or any other games you play. Let's get to it. The first method is to modify the in-game settings. You're going to want to click options, then you're going to want to change your resolution to one of the lower numbers, like 1024 times 768. This will greatly increase your FPS, it will make your game look a little different in sizing and quality, but you'll notice a big FPS boost. Now if you have a pretty good PC, but you are noticing the game feels a little sloppy, make sure to have the highest bracket number set. You might have a 144Hz monitor, but you are playing on a 60Hz setting, so make sure the bracket number is set at its highest. This only applies if you can run Overwatch with no problems. Make sure the V-Sync, triple buffering and display performance status are all on off. Make sure the limit FPS is off, that way your FPS can reach its maximum point. I recommend you set the graphics quality to low. If the game looks way too pixelated for you, then you can change the render scale to 100%. Now if you have a super good PC and are experiencing lag, set the render scale to 100%. Your render scale might be on 200%, which fakes your game into playing in a 4K resolution, which is something that is probably really screwing with your frames. Another setting you should shut off if you have a good PC or not so good of a PC is to make sure the dynamic reflection and shadow detail are set to off. You basically want to make sure all the settings are on its lowest if you are running on low frames. If you have a pretty good PC, all you have to make sure is that you are set on the highest bracket number in your resolution, render scale is 100%, and the dynamic reflections and shadow detail is off. Now to save you from all the tweaking, I have included a file that you would need to replace in your Overwatch folder. This file is a settings file that has all the changes made for you. All you have to do is replace it with the original file. Make sure you save the original before replacing it just in case it isn't working out for you. Go to your C drive, users, your name, documents, Overwatch, settings. You should see a file called settings underscore v0. Add a number or letter anywhere in the original file. Then place the one you downloaded from my description into the folder. Overwatch will then use my file once you have placed it in the folder. You must tweak a couple things inside the file too. So open the file with notepad and tweak the 3x rows with your monitor height, monitor width, and monitor refresh. Set the monitor refresh to 60 and to figure out the monitor height and width, simply type what is my screen resolution in Google and click the first link. It will take you to a page that will tell you your resolution. For the height, put 1920 and for the width, put 1080. Save the file and now you're done. Simply launch the game and see how it performs. The next method is to disable the arrow theme. To do this you must right click on your desktop and click personalize. Scroll down until you see Windows Classic. Click it and you're done. It will make your windows look a little uglier, but it will help increase your FPS slightly. The next method is using Game Booster. Game Booster can increase the FPS of your game by disabling any unnecessary programs running in the background. This will maximize your system's performance to give you the highest frames. First you're going to want to type Game Booster and click the first link. Next you're going to want to click Download Now right below. Next you're going to want to run through the installation process. You're going to have to create an account after you have installed Game Booster. Next you're going to want to click Boost then Boost Now. It will start boosting your game and you will start noticing a slight FPS boost maybe. You could also boost it by just running any of your games you want to play. Once you're done playing your game you can hit the Restore Now button to restore your computer to its default settings. The next method is to use Park Control. What this method will do is force your computer to run on all your cores, on any game you play. This can significantly increase the performance of your game and boost your FPS. First you're going to want to go to Google and type in Park Control, and then click the first link. Then you're going to want to click 32-bit or 64-bit, depending on your computer. To find out if you are running 32-bit or 64-bit, click on Start menu and right-click My Computer, then click Properties. You will see System Type and mine show 64-bit, which means I have to download and run the 64-bit version. You're going to want to install Park Control and run through the process. Once you have installed Park Control and ran through the whole process, open up Park Control. You will notice your Parking AC, Parking DC, Frequency Scaling AC, Frequency Scaling DC are all enabled. Disable all those and hit Apply. Make sure setting is high performance too. You might also have more or less cores than me. It's always different on everyone's PC. 
Before you hit apply, you will notice that the green bars are not all active. Once you hit apply, you will notice that they will all start going up. That means all your cores are being used and you can run any game and it should perform better. The next method is to have your power options on high performance. You're going to want to go to control panel, click system and security, then you're going to want to hit power options and make sure it is not unbalanced. Make sure it's on high performance. The next method is to make sure your computer is booting on all its cores. You're going to want to hit start, type in run, click on run and type msconfig. Hit ok, click on boot, click advanced options. Then you're going to want to hit enable on that check mark and then click on the highest number you see. Mine is 8 so I keep it on 8. Hit OK, hit apply, click OK and then restart your computer. The last method is to download CCleaner. CCleaner is a disk cleanup tool. It will delete any junk files that are stored in your computer over time. Don't worry, these files are not files that you own. They are temporary files that get stored on your computer system after many website searches and game launches. To download CCleaner, type CCleaner in Google and click on the first link. Then click download and it should auto start to download. Run the installer and open CCleaner. Once opened, click analyze. It might take a few minutes for the first time analyzing all the junk files on your computer. By doing this every day, it will help your computer's daily performance. Once the analyzation is complete, click on run. Let that finish and once the run is finished, I like to click run a few more times just to make sure all the junk is gone. Now I hope my tutorial will help some of you guys to be able to run Overwatch without any problems. I will be mainly doing Overwatch and CSGO guides for all you guys. If you have any questions leave them down below and I will gladly answer them. I will also be doing giveaways in the future. These giveaways will be working in a certain way. It's a subscribers only giveaway. You must be subscribed to the channel to enter. For every new video I make I will have a few people that will win Steam credits or Battle.net credits or paid games or any sort of prize. I will have a system at the end of each video that will randomly pick any of my subscribers to win these giveaways. I will then PM you on YouTube if you are a winner. Even if you don't watch the videos you can still win as long as you are a subscriber of my channel. Just make sure to check your inbox every time I make a new video. The winners will be displayed on the videos at the end of each video. If that winner does not respond back to me within a certain time frame, I'll be announcing another winner for that video on my Twitter page, which is linked in the description below. So make sure to follow me on there too. Thank you for watching and more Overwatch and CSGO videos will be posted weekly.